Hey guys, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and today we're joined by Derek Binner to discuss the latest addition to the Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS roster, Marth. So let's dive right into it. Alright, Derek, so uh, as I'm sure you saw, I mean, hopefully, because we're doing this discussion, <laughs> they just uh, confirmed that Marth is indeed back in Smash Brothers uh, for the Wii U and 3DS. Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, I don't think is a terrible surprise in and of itself. No, not at all. Now, I I, I don't know about you, but I wasn't a huge uh, Marth player, actually. Like, I, I was pretty, like, I would play every character in Smash Brothers, mm -hmm. except for basically, like, Marth and whoever the other Fire Emblem character was. Which I think... uh, Roy and Melee, uh, Ike and Brawl. Oh, that's right, Ike and Brawl, right. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I would just yeah, so I would just ignore them for the most part. I mean, I'll play as them as occasionally, but their fighting styles has never intrigued me that much. Plus, I think the fact that I hadn't played a Fire Emblem up to you know at either of those points uh -huh. um, didn't make me care about them. <laughs> so what what's your reaction though to these get to this guy being back? Oh, I like it. Uh, in melee, he was actually one of my mains. Uh, I always was a huge fan of uh, Fox and Marth. And for a while, actually, it was Roy that I was my bigger fan of, but the more I played around with Marth, I realized he was uh, a little bit better um, suited to my mm -hmm. style. And then with Brawl, uh, I didn't use him quite as much. Uh, I wanted to check out all the new characters a bit more, uh, but I certainly liked him more than I did uh, Ike. Ike was probably the better character as far as competitions are concerned, but I hate slow characters. They're just not my style. Right. I like speedy characters that can hit fast and get out of there. And Ike was not that. <laughs> so what do you so so you're a fan of him being back then? Like you wanted you were hoping he'd be back? Oh yeah. I I'd be surprised if he wasn't back. I don't think Ike or Roy obviously would be back, but uh Marth, yeah, he's sort of like the poster boy for Fire Emblem. So what do you think of how he looks um in Smash Brothers Wii U? Um he looks fine to me <laughs> i mean I, as far as i can tell they haven't really changed the design all that much it looks like they're not really changing much with them at all mm -hmm. uh i mean from what we can tell his moveset appears to be identical so far mm -hmm. that that is the big question here uh for me at least is that whether his moveset is more like uh melee or brawl uh because in melee he did sort of an overarching slash sort of like uh like roy did like roy he was much more of a clone uh, with Brawl, he was almost more of a fencer because his little attacks would be more about getting the point of his sword out as far as he could. Um, so that's what I'm curious to see. I, I'm more than likely thinking he's going to be having his Brawl move set, though. I think that's a safe bet. I mean, seeing the game does seem to be you know extremely similar to Brawl. Mm. Um, you know, more so I would say than it does to Melee. Um, even though it, it seems like they are going for some kind of middle ground. So you know, who knows? Mm. But I'm pretty sure. You, the movesets we've seen, I think, have reflected Brawl more, um, you know, especially with you know the return of the side B moves, like Mario having his, his water pack back, for instance. Yeah. Um, so I guess one question I have is, uh, now I could be mistaken, but uh, I believe Marth spoke Japanese in both in both of the previous games, right? Uh, I believe it was I believe it was Japanese for both. Uh, now was it? Now did Ike speak English in? Brawl, do you remember? It's been a while, but I think I'm pretty sure he spoke English. <laughs> yeah, I think I mean that's my recollection too, but you know I don't remember for sure. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? What do you think they're going to do this time? Do you think they're they're going to retain his uh, his Japanese voice, or do you think they'll finally update it to to be English? Uh, I'm sort of half and half. I, I think he might keep the Japanese voice just because of tradition, but yeah, we like we're we're used to it now. Exactly, but there's also the fact that he has had an English release now. Uh, with the DS game uh, Shadow Dragon. Oh, I see. Uh, that was pretty much a remake of Morris' original game. So American players are familiar with him now. Uh, so he might get an English voice. Um, well, now that you mentioned that, for that reason, though, I, I, I have a suspicion that they will use his male voice or his English voice now. I think so, too. Um, uh, I'm not sure if he has much of an English voice. Um, he might. I, I, I honestly haven't paid attention. That's Shadow Dragon's a game I missed out on, unfortunately. Um, so, no, I guess this brings up another question, is what about the other Fire Emblem characters? So, I mean, if, if they stick to tradition, they'll have just one more. Um, 
and I think a lot of people are hoping it's going to be Crumb. Yeah, that would be the more, more most obvious one. Is that who you'd be personally looking forward to, or would you rather see uh, the return of either Ike or Roy? Uh, yeah, personally, I hope for Crumb. Uh, he's certainly been one of the most interesting uh, Fire Emblem characters in more recent years. I mean, Ike, of course, was big because of the GameCube games. He had two games under his belt, but Crumb, uh, especially with the popularity of Fire Emblem Awakening, I can really see him uh, coming in. Um, Part of me, though, uh, really wants to see uh, Lynn step up as a, another Fire Emblem character. Was she from Awakening as well? No, she was not from Awakening. She was from the original Fire Emblem game that was released on uh, Game Boy Advance on uh, back when they decided, like, okay, let's try to get Fire Emblem pop, see how it does in the U.S. Um, however, you, you'll be familiar with her because she was an assist trophy in Brawl. Oh, right. Okay, I know you're talking about now. Yes. Right. Um, I I liked her as a character. I I like the fact that we can hopefully try to get some more female representation in the game. So that's sort of why I want to see Lynn get in there. That's a good point, actually. Um, I totally agree that yeah, more, having more female female characters would be a good thing. Um, and I think that makes perfect sense. Uh, it, I feel like Marth was always in either case in either game. It always seemed like Marth was a more popular character. I could be completely mistaken on that. Mm. But it, or at least if not the more popular par- character being you know played the the part the character that people wanted to be more popular you know what I mean like yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pure, that's a pure from a gameplay perspective but you know just from a you know a character a character perspective um, I could be off base with that though I'm not you know a huge Fire Emblem guy um, so yeah I mean I think I agree with you that'd be cool but I kind of think it's going to be Crumb yeah I I, I totally agree but you know like just. Come on, <laughs> it's just I, I just would be ni- it would be nice to get that little bit of representation, but oh well. But yeah, I, I'd be fi- I would be fine with Crumb. Uh, yep. I'd be curious to see whether they make him even more unique or make him more like Ike, and because his I believe his fighting style is completely different from Ike in the games. Well, yeah, they, they I mean they had similar move sets. It was just like they they performed at completely different speeds and strengths. Yes, right? yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Ike was all all about power, but yeah, uh, it's it's curious to see and you know as we've seen before the there is that fire emblem level that is based on uh fire emblem awakening uh on the mm-hmm. 3ds version at least oh that's true i mean come on you gotta get crumb in there somehow <laughs> yeah that's actually a really good point um yeah that might that might support the fact that yeah, yeah he'll yeah he'll be the other fire emblem character which i think again makes the most sense um nintendo does like to you know update you know the games with like the more recent version or you know, with the most you know bring something for the most recent ver- games in that series exactly such as uh such as um oh uh, what's his name lucas coming from mother three mm-hmm. for for brawl and, and even roy and uh, the original in in melee because in japan his game was just coming out at that time yeah exactly so there's sort of tradition with fire emblem that use like marth as the original and then have somebody new from one of the more recent games come in. Yeah, I think um, I mean I think that makes sense. But again, I kind of hope you're right. Um, so I was actually reading some comments on Go Nintendo about uh, Marth being back, and someone brought up an interesting point. That's Moldy Clay, and uh, he mentioned that you know Marth is a secret character in both the of the previous Smash Brothers games, as I recall. And so he's wondering if the fact that he's been announced so early. Uh, if, if that hints at something regarding secret characters in this in this game, um, specifically that one, maybe Marth isn't a secret character, uh, or two, maybe there are just less or no secret characters at, at all anymore. Like maybe, but he's in Sakurai's already gone on record saying, um, you know, he doesn't want to do cutscenes this time around because of them all ending up on YouTube. So maybe, <laughs> so maybe that could be related to this, where you know uh, he knows all the secret characters are going to get out there anyway. So why keep any of them hidden or unlo- or you know locked in the game? And I can sort of appreciate that a bit more, mainly because I know one of the big complaints, especially with Brawl, was how you had to unlock so many characters in that game, and yeah, it adds a sense of like discovery for the single player to get get all those characters. But when you just when you get the first get the game, and you boot it up, and you want to play with your friends, you want to have all those characters available to you. And it's, it's so you try to get your characters unlocked, and all of a sudden you're the better player than all your friends. Which and it's really annoying too if you uh, like if you don't have your save file or you go to someone else's house that doesn't have a save file and you have none of those characters available and it takes forever to unlock them all. Yeah, exactly. I don't mind a few unlockable characters, but when half the roster I think with Brawl was needed to be unlocked, it was a bit right. ridiculous. Um, so I hope they go with something more like uh, either Melee or the, even the original Smash Brothers where there was only like four characters to unlock. So like maybe keep the super secret special 
characters have to be unlocked, but, you know, show us everything else. Uh, or at least, not, not even show us everything else, just have them available right, right in the beginning. Because uh, that is a, that, that has been a bit of a problem with the Smash Brothers series over the years. But I can I understand why they want to have them unlockable. But I also understand the complaints where where let us play with them as soon as possible. You know. Yeah, I mean, I can I, I can go either way on this. Mm -hmm. um, I think I would probably just in general prefer them just to be available. Like it just removes that barrier. Um, you know, like for instance, you know, I transferred my save files over to my Wii U for my Wii. Um, that means if I want to use my Wii for Smash Brothers, you know, so I can use GameCube controllers, I have to go unlock all those freaking characters again. Mm -hmm. Um, which is stupid. <laughs> That's <laughs> dumb. Um, and plus you can't even transfer the you know, normally you can't even transfer the Smash Brothers save file to any other memory card, you know, from your system. Um, or to any, you know, to any other system. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a flawed, it's, it, it's a problem, I feel like, and something that could be avoided, and I'm fine with them avoiding that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, well, do you have any final thoughts on Marth at all? Anything we haven't discussed or anything you wanted to, to mention? Uh, no, I think that pretty much covers our thoughts. It's, unfortunately, there's not really much to say when it comes to Marth. He's always been the same. You got one question about how his style will be, and that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I'm just happy to see him back. Looking forward to see who else we might get from the Fire Emblem series. And Yeah, I guess the only other thing I noticed is in one of the screenshots when he's taking on Fox... Um, it looks like he's performing his counter, and like this, you can see like this almost like this energy field thing appearing around the you know the tip of his sword. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't recall that being a previous game. I think he just had like a little spark or something. So it looks like this is along the same lines as you mentioned before before we start recording this. Um, you know, along the same lines of like the uh, the attack lines they've added, and so it looks like they're really drawing emphasis to. Um, to this move, and I, I, don't know, I think it's a cool little visual touch. Like it, it really makes it stand out. Exactly. It also makes it makes your move stand out, and makes it feel like there's a sense of power there. Like you know, there's these two are clashing so hard. There's an energy sphere being formed. <laughs> right. It's, you know, it gives us a sense of like these. This is an epic clash. Yeah, it's probably a fitting thing considering how <laughs> how strong and annoying those counters are. <laughs> <laughs> I love which those I think things. is partially which is, which I think is partially why I didn't play as him. Because I hated dealing with those counters, and I didn't want—I I didn't want to flick that upon my worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, no, I loved them. I loved them. It's, I see. I love that screenshot because that's two of my mains fighting each other. <laughs> Man, I despise everything about them. I, oh, he counters. <laughs> um, especially, especially there. For some reason, like Peaches bothers me less. Uh -huh. um, yeah, never, never liked Marth and Marth and Roy's and Ike's counters. They just always—I don't know—they they didn't feel quite meshed with the Smash Brothers playstyle, in my opinion. But uh, that's just me. Yeah, I think that's just you because I, I like the countering thing. That's why I went with Fox back in the days because he had his reflector. Yeah, oh, yeah reflector is different than the counter though. The reflector was reflector is fine because um, you can still t attack Fox when he's doing that, just not with projectiles. Um, whereas yeah, Mar you know the, the counters were like yeah, I guess for melee attacks as opposed to um, you know projectiles. So yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. Just, <laughs> you know. Because I guess you know, I grew up on the original Smash Brothers, so I was always about the up close combat, especially in that game, because the throws were you know oh, so powerful. Seriously, <laughs> you, you were just always up close constantly. Um, so I think yeah, having the counter, like, having the counter is like just annoyed by you know just did not match with the playstyle <laughs> I grew used to. So. Yeah, see, I, I I played a little bit of the original, but I I grew up with melee, so. <laughs> Oh god! Uh, see, yeah, the original is actually my favorite. Um, that and Brawl are really close. Whereas Malay, I don't care at all. About. <laughs> like, I played Malay for a while, and then I'm like, I, me and my friends were just we just gradually went back to the original. I just prefer that game hmm. way more than that. And then Brawl came out, and then we played that. Then we played that game a bunch. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up for our discussion on Marth. So thanks, guys, for uh, for watching, and thanks for joining us, Derek. Um, if you like this discussion, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out more about future discussions, um, including you know, more Smash Brothers stuff. Uh, you can follow us at, at GameExplain for both of them. You can find links to them in the, in the description below. And uh, keep an eye on GameExplain.com for more on this game and other things gaming as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.